Oh, it's burning back again. So you see behind us here, we have my wife's uh, 67 fiber. It has a 5.3 liter uh, Vortec engine, uh, LS based. And what we're going to show you today is that uh, it's only alternator wiring. So if you're just on a swap with the, as you see here, it's a factory computer right here on this one. And uh, we're using all the factory harness and uh, out in the area wires and some stuff. This works just fine. You uh, use it, let the computer run the out in the charging system and it works just fine. But what if you didn't use the factory harness and you use it was carburetor uh, uh, converted to an LS or it was the Holly system converted to an LS? Well, we we'll just have a look at that next and. I'll show you what we do. Okay, so uh, we're down in the garage here now, and uh, just took the hood off it just to show you. So uh, what we have right here is a 6.2 liter uh, engine, and it's in our uh, Datsun uh, race car. Yeah, it's dirty as hell. Anyway, you can see uh, the, it's not that it matters, but the alternator is uh, turned around backwards just because. Uh, it's a smaller engine compartment, which doesn't matter. But we have uh, one wire going to the alternator here, and obviously, uh, we have one wire going here, and this one here is actually uh, just going back to the battery. So on, on this car here, all we done with this one was uh, the car when it had a small lock Chevy into it at one time. We had an electric water pump onto it, and there was a switch in the in the console for electric water pump. So we just use that to turn the outlet around and off. So in this case, if you wanted to make a pass uh, without the outlet running, maybe free up a few more horsepower, uh, you could just turn the switch off and when you finish the end of the track and you turn around the return lane, uh, you can turn the outlet back on on a return trip and charge your battery. I wouldn't flick the outlet around when you're going through the beams like at a 100 plus mile an hour. It's not good for the outlier. So that's that. You can turn the outlier around now for the switch. And uh, let me show you here quickly. The car is rotten. Has it moved in like three years. This is all we have up here. This switch here was originally used for the water pump. And uh, that's all we done. We just uh, you turn the outlet around. Now. This is not labeled, but that's that's what we done with it anyway. So <coughs> so go over here on this car. This is uh, my eighty firebird. Uh, we've all seen this car, and as you can see, same thing as a six liter LS in this car, and. You can see we have uh, an aftermarket harness. It has the Holly Terminator X system into it. It's got a little display in the dash. And it here, what we have here, we had the wire, uh, the alternator. Obviously, this one goes back. That's just the big one goes back to the battery. And this one here uh, goes to a key live. So. What you, have to, you have to put a resistor in the key live, and in the Datsun, it doesn't really matter so much. It's good to have it into it, but you're going to turn the out and it's very little use. You know, you're only going back to return road, or uh, you're driving up the stage and things, so it gets very little use. But something that's driven a lot of climbers, you're going to want to put a resistor into it so it doesn't. Uh, I think it overcharges and uh, damages the out and so. Uh, what we're going to show you is how to wire a resistor into uh, the outlier circuit. So this is a resistor here that we're using. So uh, they're really cheap, probably like 25 cents each at an electronic store. And anyway, uh, I'll just... Uh, we got a, got a multimeter here next to it. And anyway, 
we'll end up uh, putting two wires across it. And if you looked at that, it is 467, 68. So that's uh, basically 470 ohms. So we measured it before we done it. And uh, we measure it after we solder it in just to make sure the resistor is still good. So, okay, so there you go. So we already soldered this piece on right here. So it's only uh, simply uh, get a little torch. That should do it. Works great with soldering iron too. So, and that's how. So what we're going to do now, we we'll, we wired, uh, got a little wire on so we can run over a switch live. And uh, how we're going to do now, we'll uh, take it up, probably put a bit of the heat, or put a bit of heat shrink on it, tape it up, and uh, just sort of protect it because you wouldn't want this uh, grounded out anywhere or whatever. So we'll we'll do that next, and uh, we'll check it out then. Okay, so uh, got a bit of heat shrink there now, and we'll just shove it up, say bye bye to your resistor, and then uh, your torch again. And we'll just heat it up. And then again, you don't have to use a, a something with flame onto it. Uh, then cheap peak on uh, Princess Auto and all that, they'll shrink up this just fine. And they're usually on sale for like, mm, sometimes it gets my sale for like $20 or something. So anyway, that's good for that. So we shut that off. Let that cool down a bit. And we'll uh, probably uh, put some electrical tape over it. Just for a bit of extra protection. But, so when uh, we take the finished product, take it out, it's kind of hard to see now, doing everything with one hand. But um, that's pretty what we got there now. So we got just one wire going into the plug, and it's uh, heat shrinked right now. And uh, we'll, we'll test it again. And like I said, it'll be another wire, and this will just go to a switch live. So. Um, Okay, we'll uh, do that and take a little break in. Okay, so take a little bit more here again. So this here is exactly what we got here. I don't know if the lighting is that great. You can see it's a uh, it's a connector. This little plastic piece is over. We slide that over. We can snap that back on here. It is not necessary, but. Uh, same thing, we had the wire coming out of the second one from uh, the, that side with the clip in the front. So, making a picture of another dump with the install. But anyway, uh, uh, that's, uh, that's how you uh, hook it up. Uh, so back with the alternator. After it's all soldered up and you uh, run that wire to a switch live, sometimes the old uh, uh, distributor wire for the HEI is a good spot, or you can run it, run it to uh, any key live that's under the hood, or even if you fuse will be fine. So when you run the alternator, uh, when you swap the motor out and you need to charge properly, and you're burning up alternators, so you're running trouble. Just wire in the resistor, and you should be fine. And the next time, you see you then.